Adrenaline modulates the growth hormone axis. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how it does and how you can use that information to further your own aims. Before I do, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you haven't already, and comment on the video if you can for the sake of the algorithm. It has long been known that growth hormone secretion increases post-exercise. However, researchers have long wondered whether this was due to changes in the cholinergic system, in the GABAergic system, in the opioidergic system, or in the adrenergic system. It turns out that adrenaline seems to modulate growth hormone secretion after exercise. Now, the adrenergic system has two classes of receptors, the alpha receptors and the beta receptors. There are two alpha receptors and three beta receptors. It seems that agonism of the alpha-2 receptors increases growth hormone releasing hormone and decreases somatostatin secretion. Remember, somatostatin is the inhibitory negative feedback signal for the secretion of growth hormone. Growth hormone releasing hormone causes the release of growth, growth hormone, and somatostatin inhibits the activity of growth hormone releasing hormone. On the other hand, agonism of the beta-1 receptor increases somatostatin secretion, thereby inhibiting the effects of growth hormone. Interestingly, dopamine also seems to modulate the secretion of growth hormone, although it appears to do this via its metabolism into adrenaline or via its agonism of adrenaline receptors themselves. Modulation of growth hormone via the adrenaline receptors may be one of the reasons that growth hormone secretion declines with age. A study in rodents found that alpha adrenergic receptor expression declines with rodents age while beta receptor expression increases with age. To summarize again, the effects we're talking about so far are at the alpha receptors, agonism of the alpha-2 receptor increases growth hormone releasing hormone and decreases somatostatin, and at the beta-1 receptor, agonism there increases somatostatin. Now, the adrenaline system also have, has effects on ghrelin, and as you guys will remember from our studies on ghrelin mimetics, ghrelin also modulates growth hormone. Specifically, ghrelin secretion can be induced by beta-1 agonism. And this is seen by the effects of epinephrine, norepinephrine, and to an even lesser degree, dopamine in animals. In fact, ghrelin secreting cells have an enhanced expression of the beta-1 adrenergic receptor. Ghrelin's effects on growth hormone are less dependent on inhibitory effects from somatostatin, which is one of the reasons MK677 users don't uh, experience inhibition of the growth hormone effect with time, because the ghrelin system is less reactive to somatostatin. Nonetheless, beta-1 agonism has been shown to decrease slightly hexarelin's effects on growth hormone secretion. So what are the takeaways from all of this? Well, first of all, even for people not using ghrelin mimetics or growth hormone releasing hormone mimetics, that means even people that are natural, that take an alpha adrenergic agonist will find enhanced GH secretion acutely. Clonidine is the alpha agonist most used in studies, and in fact, you, um, tests involving clonidine to see the response of growth hormone releasing hormone in humans is a standard diagnostic test. However, brimonidine is a more selective alpha-2 agonist that is also more lipophilic and likely a better choice. Second, if you're using a growth hormone releasing hormone analog like CJC-DAC, beta-1 antagonism will in increase growth hormone secretion by decreasing somatostatin inhibition to the growth hormone releasing hormone mimetic. However, note that if you're not using a growth hormone releasing hormone mimetic like CJC-DAC, if you're just natural, beta-1 antagonism may not increase growth hormone secretion in response to your own natural G uh, growth hormone releasing hormone. And finally, using a beta receptor agonist like clenbuterol may partially defeat the purpose of using a ghrelin mimetic like MK677 or hexarelin by partially limiting growth hormone secretion as a response to the ghrelin mimetic via somatostatin, although the inhibition will be less severe than if you were taking a growth hormone releasing hormone analog like CJC-DAC. Anyway guys, I hope you found this informative and helpful. This was I think the first video on the modulation of the growth hormone system by adrenaline and I'm quite sure the first video to discuss the interactive effects of using drugs like clenbuterol, clonidine, uh, growth hormone secretagogues, and so on. Thank you guys so much for listening, and I'll see you soon.